Hey guys, it's Phoenix, and this is an oversized drinks machine. It's completely functional, and it will brew for you uh, several different types of drinks. Uh, so over here I have this fancy manual, and it says uh, it shows you several different recipes. Um, so this drinks machine can brew for you three different kinds of drinks, and here it says it can brew for you a cookie and cream milkshake, a hot chocolate, and mineral water. And of course, mineral water. Uh, I don't think you require a recipe for that. Uh, so it's completely functional. So I'll show you how uh, the machine works. So here I'd say I wanted to drink a hot chocolate. So it says here I need two cocoa beans, two sugar and a bucket of milk. So it has to be in that correct order as well. So if uh, if I throw in these recipe, uh, if I throw in these things in a different order, it will not work. So let's see, I need two cocoa beans. Uh, two sugar and a bucket of milk. So first things first, I actually need a cup. So let's grab a cup and put it underneath and let's throw in the ingredients. So two cocoa beans first and then two sugar and then a bucket of milk. Chuck all that in and let's give it a shot. So let's turn the power on for the drinking machine. And just like that, it will start spewing out water from the machine, just like a normal machine would. And the cup will start filling up, just like that. And so let's grab the cup, and this will get transferred into my inventory, just like that. And now I have a hot chocolate, uh, the finest in the Minecraft world. And it will give you uh, instant health, because hot chocolates are always very energizing. Um, not really, but it's really, um, it's a nice drink. Okay, so let's do another one. So let's do the cookie and cream milkshake. So uh, the machine instantly resets, so I'll have to grab another cup, just like that. And let's see, I'll need two buckets of milk this time. And I'll also need three cookies and two sugar, just like that. So let's chuck all that in again. Again, this is, there's not much use for this in uh, survival Minecraft, it's just a bit of fun to make. Uh, so th three, uh, three bucks of milk, uh, sorry, two bucks of milk, three cookies and two sugar. And I have my cup and let's turn it on. And water will come out again and fill the cup. You can see all the redstone, I, I didn't really uh, build the redstone too far off, so it's it wasn't really in the way, but uh, I would have liked to build it further off outside. So the uh, the cup is now filled and let's grab the cup and now I have myself a cookie and cream milkshake. And lastly, uh, mineral water. I just decided to do this. So all you need to do is uh, put in a cup, uh, sorry, a bucket of water, grab the cup and turn the power on. and the cup is being filled and I'll get myself a mineral water just like that so it's completely functional um, I've only uh, integrated three different uh, three different types of drinks you can always integrate more but again this is just a proof of concept and it works really nicely and let's show you how to, I'll show you how it all works so uh, the first thing is you also you actually need to have a cup of water, uh, sorry, a, an empty cup to be transferred here. And you can see the template I have on the left. All this does, all this command block does, is clone this. Um, it all it just clones this cup of water into um, this area here. So it clones uh, the cup here into this coordinate, which is just over there. And that's how that works. Uh, so the next thing is how I actually put the ingredients into the uh, blender sort of thing at the top or the machine. Um, and the how I do that is the lever here actually places three different command blocks into that clock over there. So when I flick this lever, uh, these command blocks here actually... Um, so I've got three different command blocks that get activated and what happens is the redstone block activates this command block, activates this command block, and activates this command block. And each command block 
basically sets a command block down in that clock over there. So this is a command block clock over here. So it sets a command block uh, adjacent to this redstone clock. And it sets it down with a specific command. And that command is basically a test for block command. And it tests for a hopper, which has certain items in it. So, oops. so for this one specifically, it shows um, a water bucket, and this is the mineral water one. So it basically tests for a hopper with a water bucket in the first slot. Because if you throw in a water bucket into the hopper, obviously the first slot is going to be a water bucket. And similarly for the, say the hot chocolate one, let's see, it's this one, isn't it? No, no this is the, uh, the milkshake. So the milkshake does a, si a similar thing. It tests for a hopper with the items milk bucket, uh, two milk buckets, obviously, and they can't stack, so I needed to have two separate MPT tags for that. Um, cookie with a count of three, and sugar with a count of two. And the same thing goes for uh, the, um, the hot chocolate. So that's how that works. And when I flick that on, it also sets down some water. Um, which will be that which is how the water comes into the uh, the cup and this is the whole string of events I'm not going to go through all of them but basically what happens is um, as soon as it successfully tests for a hopper um, these command blocks will basically set a score of one or two or zero and depending on what score you have it will give you a certain drink and uh, the redstone continues down this path and that's just the animation of the cup filling I just used a fill command it's really simple um, and then after it's all done, it sets uh, it back to air and sets this back to air and flicks the lever back up on its own. So if I turn this on, it will actually flick back up by itself. I don't have to manually turn it off because that's how a machine generally works. And then lastly, uh, to collect the cup, this one sets a redstone block over here. And this will activate either one of these command blocks, a set of command blocks. And depending on what your drink score is, it will uh, it will give it will activate a, a different set of command blocks. So here it just clones this back to air. So it clones a random space of air blocks into this area. So the cup will disappear, and it will give you a drink depending on your score. So let's run it through one more time. Uh, let's see. I've got the cup, and let's uh, let's just make ourselves another hot chocolate because <laughs> that's always nice. So let's grab ourselves the ingredients. So again, let's double check it. Uh, it's two cocoa beans, uh, two sugar, and one bucket of milk. And actually what I'll do this time is set the objective, score objective, um, I'll actually set the display for the drinks. So I'll show you how the objective works. So I'll throw in these cocoa beans and I'll throw in this sugar and I'll throw in the bucket of milk. So again it has to be in the correct order because we don't want the uh, test for block to detect an, um, the wrong NBT tag. So it has to be, the first slot has to be cocoa beans, the second slot and the third slot so on has to be the correct items. Uh, so let's turn this on. So I have the cup and I have the ingredients and I'll run that. And you can see that my score is instantly set to 2 because the scoreboard um, detects any player with a score of 2 and that will give you a hot chocolate. So it's now filled and if I press this button it will give me a hot chocolate. And that's because, let's see, uh, it's this one. Uh, so it gives me uh, a hot chocolate because my score has been set to 2. It's a potion, obviously it's a potion you can see in my inventory it is it's a harming potion, but I just changed I just changed the display name and the law, and I gave it a different potion effect because I didn't <laughs> I didn't want to have any instant uh, harming effects when I drink the drink, obviously. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really cool to make. Uh, it works really well, and again, you can try this out. Uh, it will always it will always work, and you could always integrate different types of in, in, uh, recipes. But again, it's really limited because Minecraft doesn't have a whole bunch of ingredients available to you. And so that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching.